Uh, hello, my name is Andres Espinosa, and this is my last lecture. Chapter 4, The Parent Lottery. On March 26, in Long Beach, California, I was born and I was raised by two wonderful, caring, and wonderful parents. They always helped me throughout the bad times and never failed to put a smile on my face. I truly can't thank them enough for what they've done, and I just want to give them the whole world. They always helped me, and they, I idolize them a lot. So, thank you, Mom and Dad. Los amo. Along the way, I have met some wonderful friends, and honestly, they're the reason why I even come to school. They, they always <laughs> made me laugh and never failed to put a smile on my face. Chapter 7. I never made it to the NFL. I was always made fun of as a kid due to my height, as I was four foot six, and also for the fact that my hair was up to my waist. I know it's hard to believe, but it was true. And every single day, I got bullied frequently by the snotty kids across the classroom. They'd always call me names, tug my hair, and put gum in my hair as well. Honestly, it was pretty annoying, but. I had enough one day, and I finally decided to cut my hair, even though it took a lot of begging and <laughs> annoyance of my parents to let me actually cut it. The following day, I cut it up to my shoulders, and I was happy with the results because it was a big difference for what I had before, but I still got made fun. So, once again... I go up to my parents and annoyingly start asking if I could cut my hair again. And sure, it might have taken a few hours, but it finally worked. And we cut my hair again. It was really short. I liked it, but it make a change if I got bullied at school. Yes, surprisingly, yes, I didn't get bullied after that day that I got my hair cut. As I grew up, my parents wanted me to get into sports, such as soccer. I like soccer, but I never really wanted, wanted to play competitively. I rather play it more as like a hobby, like with friends and nothing too serious. Even though I sucked playing as a defender, my parents still cheered me on and made me push myself to become a better player. Eventually, I started to have fun. And I learned that teamwork really comes a long way in sports, or anything in a group activity in general. It helped me a lot knowing that I had to support both my parents and my teammates. It really helped me become a better at soccer, even though it's not a sport I play anymore. It was still a wonderful experience with many memories and many new friends. Chapter 28. Dream Big. I always wanted to become a doctor after watching the show I used to happen to watch with my sister when I was younger. It just boggled me over the new vocabulary, the machines, all the action. It's something that I took interest in, and I wanted it. Ever since online happened, it all went downhill. I never had the best grades during online, and I just wanted to give up. It crushed my dreams on becoming a doctor. Because with these grades, I wasn't really going to get into any college. And I thought that my future was done for. I was really overthinking at the time though. But with my sister's help, I snapped out of it. She gave me courage and that I should keep going. So I went to summer school to make up those grades. And it made me realize after I was done that I shouldn't give up, that I should learn from my mistakes. And I still thank her for all those words that she said to me that day. Those words will always be in my head to make me push harder to have a wonderful and successful life. Chapter 53, Never Give Up. Even though growing in a household where you speak two different languages, 
it came with a lot of downsides and difficulties. Because one had to use at home, and the other had to use at school. And since many people didn't speak Spanish, it came with some big difficulties and downsides. But thankfully, with the help of my teachers, I was able to get more fluent in both languages, considering that they also spoke Spanish and English. I was very grateful to them, and I was very thankful, considering that not to be shy or embarrassed to talk to someone and whenever I needed help. Even though I don't live in Compton anymore and I don't go to the same school, I am very grateful and they will always be in my heart for their kindness and comfort when I was there.